Designing your own uniform in Illustrator is a fun and creative way to practice your coloring and selection tools in Illustrator, especially because some of the harder work has been done for you. So what you're expected to do in this assignment is to pick some images, do a life trace on them so they become graphic objects, pick your fonts so you can pick colors and designs, and then design your own logo for your sports team, and then take a set of jerseys and color it according to your color scheme. Now this isn't terribly difficult because the jerseys are already created for you and have already been life traced, so you just need to color them. So there are templates available. If you go into the graphics folder, then you will see that there's a templates folder and in there is uniforms and there's an entire list of uniforms in there. The ones that are available are a volleyball uniform, a baseball uniform, a hockey uniform, a men's basketball uniform, a cheerleader uniform courtesy of Angelique, and a soccer player uniform, which is what I'm going to use for this demo. Now the basic idea is that when you have a jersey selected, you go to your Live Paint Bucket tool, which is here, and it's underneath the Shape Builder tool. You click on your group, and then each section can be chosen with a color. If I go to my color wheel, I can choose a color. If it comes up black and white, change that to CMYK, choose your color, and then click on a box to apply the color that you would like to see in that place. I'm just going to choose a couple here. So I have my purple selected, and I'm going to choose another color, and I'm going to click on the other components of that uniform so you can see how quickly it is colored your uniform. And you can get into all the little tiny bits and pieces to create a better design, but I'm just going to do a quick example of how it's done. Okay, so that's the basics. Now you can get a little bit more more interesting um, and uh, by dividing up your uniform into components. So, for example, if I take a line tool, like this here, and I draw a line across my, uh, my jersey, and then I go Object, Path, Divide Objects Below. I can click on that, and now if I go back to my jersey group here with my Live Paint Bucket tool, you will see that each component will show up separately. Now I still have the green selected here, so I can still apply that green and reapply that to part of my jersey, but I don't really have all of these colors. So that's what's called swatches. If I go into my swatches, I don't actually have any. So what I can do is I click on here and say new swatch, and it's giving me green, and I could rename, leave that with a RGB value, or I can just call it green. So that could be my one swatch. And then I can go out and I can pick my, I can expand this group, and I can select my purple color here, and I can eyedropper that actually. So I have that, oops, I can have that selected. I'm going to ungroup all of this here. And so I can select, oh, I can select just one component. And here I guess ungroup this again. Select one component, so I have the purple. And I can add that to my swatches as well. So now I have the purple and the green. And I also have a short, simple logo here that's blue. I'm going to add that to my swatches as well. So I'm going to make a new swatch from that. Say OK. So now I have three swatches. So first I'm going to use my name and my number. And I'm going to take the same blue that I had for my logo. And now that I have these swatches, I'm going to select all of my components again. Go back to my Live Paint Bucket tool. And now I can choose my colors up here. So I'm going to go green. I'm going to choose a couple more components and to apply the green color to those. And I can go through and design both my home and my away uniform. Um, and you can color the different components. And then with your logo, you can take your logo and place that on your jersey as well. Uh, object, arrange, bring to front to make sure that it's there and I can resize that. And then I can take my number and my name, put that on the jersey and resize that, place that on the jersey as well. There we go. 
And if it sort of disappears, I say, okay, I want to select that, and I'm going to give it a white stroke so it pops a little bit more, which is not unusual, but I don't have white up here. So I have to go back to my color wheel, and I'm going to choose white for a stroke. That was not the stroke, that was the outline color, so I have to make sure I'm on my stroke here. This is the fill color, this is the stroke color, so if I want this to be white, I've got to make sure that's selected. So same, I can do the same with this to be consistent and I have some of my logo figured out, and you can add more colors. So pretty straightforward. Again, for dividing your objects, you can create a path. You can also use your pencil tool if you wanted to have a more creative way. Do your more creative line through. Go object, path, divide objects below, and it will have divided this for you. Again, with my Life Paint Bucket tool, I can choose my green for what's one component, and I can choose purple or blue with the other component and so on and color my jersey. And that's all there's to it.